you, you see like the details in the old, like San Francisco and, and the Netherlands, these old Victorian buildings and, and these old architecture and like the detail and the, even the paints and but right. everything's too expensive. So we need cheap drywall and <sighs> fucking whatever's Fuck. the cheapest and increase Real. the profits. And I think it's hard to run a construction business without, you're not going to survive if you don't yeah, do that. Right. Unfortunately, you've worked construction, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, things are just. But I do love architecture, man. When I go into a building and it has that, oh my God, I fucking drool over that shit. Like just like you can, you, exactly mm -hmm. the craftsmanship, you can picture somebody there yeah. spending months on that one little fucking piece of architecture. It's like, God damn, that's amazing. Well, it's kind of like old cars, right? Like, yeah, like old right. cars. And I think that, that, you know, whether it's, it doesn't feel the same, but it is the same. Like Tesla's. He puts so much thought in every detail. Yeah, right. Maybe not the Cybertruck, although I won't. <laughs> but, you know, like, yeah, I'm sure he did. But, you know, like, it's like, wow, he thought about every detail. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I would say the manufacturing of it is still cheap as fuck. You know, when, because uh, I detail Teslas all the time. Yeah. And I've oh, seen, really? Yeah, and I see some that, like, you know, because when I first started detailing, because my wife wants a Tesla, and I, I want a Tesla too. I think they're badass vehicles. Yeah. Um, when I first started getting into detailing, it was like, oh, Model X, you know, Model S, oh, these are fucking awesome cars. You know, doors open, big screen, all this shit. And then now, you know, three years into it, and I'm still detailing. And actually, some of them are their exact same cars, their clients that are just returning clients. And you start seeing rubber shit falling off. Oh, really? And, like, you know, where the doors open, you know, because they have those, uh, I forgot what they're called the doors that open like that lamborghini doors yeah yeah like those doors and uh but tesla calls it something else oh they might call it like the back to the future doors or something like that <laughs> no, what's that call car called oh the, the uh, delorean delorean right no i forgot what they call it um but anyway so like inside there you know there's always shit in there and it gets moldy and fucking nasty and it's like it's still manufactured the way yeah, other yeah. cars are manufactured oh really you know? okay yeah. i mean they're, yeah. they're nicer cars they can last longer they yeah. you know all this good shit but it's still made the same yeah I mean, even like the, but like, yeah, so I didn't know that. that's interesting, but I'm thinking more like putting a fucking screen in the middle instead of all these knobs and, and yeah, making right. the engine electric, hello, mm -hmm. and yeah, it to go right. fast and be silent. And, exactly. and it's just like, you know, a lot of companies, oh well, shit, we know, like watch uh, who killed the electric car one and the, who killed the electric car two when Tesla was starting out. Um, fucking those companies, Chevy, all them, they only did it to answer. They knew they, they could have done it a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know about uh, alcohol cars that were competing with gasoline cars and the beat okay. the dawn of cars. Not specifically, but I know yeah. that there was even electric cars and then there's even guys who created a, a carburetor, you know, because cars use carburetors for the longest time. Yeah. That would fucking go fucking hundreds of miles on one take of gas. And then, of course, yeah. car manufacturing companies buy this fucker out. What's it called when they do that? Like uh, fluorescent light bulbs back in the early 1900s lasted years and years and years and they had to manufacture it to last shorter periods to sell more to survive the business, I guess, because even back then they're like, well, fuck, we're going out of business because no one needs them. But yeah, um, right. there's a term a business term for that mm. it's uh you create a, a debt a death date for your product so mm. they have to buy more um but yeah it's uh it's fucking insane that like all this shit like i mean light bulbs should last forever oh yeah those right. two-year light bulbs that came out when we were kids remember two-year light bulbs oh, yeah shit. right those were out in the early 1900s apparently well, dude, even like uh old washer machines you know, like, we have a newer washing machine, but uh, in my older houses, like, I, fuck, I've been in way too many houses in my lifetime. But, dude, I've had an old washing machine, probably from, like, the 60s, that oh, yeah. fucking runs great. Yeah. You fucking throw your clothes in there, it fucking runs great. It'll never break down. And you see that shit all the time on Craigslist, too. Oh, free old washing machine still works. And now, you know, I've had my washing machine two years, going on three years, and it's already showing signs of, like, giving up. It's like, oh, yeah. God damn. Yeah. Shit. I don't know. We have an old ass dryer that fucking our clothes somehow gets like tangled. Like all our underwear because it's like <laughs> the smaller fabrics get stuck in between the ridges and then all the rust and everything. So Ooh. all our shit looks like it has skid marks like on the <laughs> side and shit. And no excuses. I used dude. to give a yeah. I used to give Gina shit. Like, yeah, skid marks. Dude, what the fuck? It's like it's the dryer. I'm like sure. And then I started noticing all my shit, the sheets, the pillow. I'm like motherfucker. It's like oh, ruining all our clothes. But. uh yeah, it's pretty old. <laughs> so I don't know, but things need repair. But yeah, just you know, craftsmanship isn't what it used to. Oh, Even the middles no. we use and stuff. And fuck, you go, Nick, you travel, you're gonna fucking love that because that's one of the coolest parts. Just even the roads, the cobblestone roads, and and just how they built shit. And fuck, even like built the Asian, to fucking last, man. Asian architecture, yeah, shit's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, shit, you, you in the Netherlands, you'll see like uh, castles and shit with like wires around it and shit hmm. and uh it's because it's so old that that shit will fall off and actually when i was in amsterdam one weekend when i lived there uh they had police tape everywhere and this big fucking chunk of this beautiful design thing fell off and like left a huge indention in oh, this cobblestone fuck. road and i was like that would 
kill and apparently people die from this <laughs> so then i was like fuck build new shit fuck yeah. this <laughs> fuck i didn't think about that yeah oh that's fucked up yeah, man interesting it's gonna happen you know well and you know what repairmen you know i mean you used to be able to fucking take your washing machine down to a repairman or, or a repairman would come to your house and i think uh, it's my brother-in-law i think uh, had a problem with this dryer and he's like, well, shit, I want to get it repaired, watch some YouTube videos. And it was like, okay, I found out the part that's wrong. It's like the part's like 150 bucks. It's like, fuck, I paid 200 for the fucking dryer. Like, how, you know, god damn. And sometimes people can't repair shit, which is weird. Like, yeah, oh, right. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I think, yeah, Jocko Wilkins talking about bringing um, boot making back into American manufacturing. Mm-hmm. They had to bring these old retired guys to teach these young kids. Oh, and they said, yeah, fuck, right. if they would have died off, I don't know who I would have hit up. Right. We'd have had to relearn it. And mm-hmm. it, it also makes me wonder, like, with the pyramids and all the conspiracy. <laughs> like, uh, you know, it's, uh, did we forget? Because I realized seeing that, like, oh, that wasn't that long ago. But, yeah, I could see how my grandkid wouldn't know how to, no one would know how to build boots, maybe, all unless right. we have a document on the internet. But what happens mm-hmm. when the internet goes out or Ooh, cleans yeah, or right. someone owns it? And it's like, fuck, maybe that's what happened with how the pyramids could build this. How the, You know, like, maybe those those questions just dissolve over time or be created over time and the answers dissolve, I guess mm. I should say. Ugh interesting deep, deep. yeah that is deep, deep and it's it, it just kind of uh so deep that you see the knowledge disappearing and languages you know in culture we study that in anthropology yeah. all the time languages are fucking dying out every day man yeah. and yeah. when language dies out culture dies out <laughs>